Hi guys, Dave here with Fresh Bake. You know, the Jolly Holiday on Main Street is one of our go-to places to eat. We love just about everything they have and we love the setting. And today we're at the Jolly Holiday Bakery for a fun new seasonal sandwich, the fried bologna sandwich. A little something that might make you think of summertime lunches as a kid. And it's just our luck, a delicious looking dessert too, the strawberry swirl cheesecake. My holiday it is, one of my favorite places to eat, not just for the regular food that they have here, the food that they have on a consistent basis. Actually, there is no food that they have here on a consistent basis. It's a rolling uh, menu, although the, the food items tend to stay here for a few months, at least five, six, seven. But they also have got some really fun seasonal stuff that we always make sure to check out. This season, the spring season, is no different. The fried bologna sandwich. Fried bologna, Monterey Jack, mustard, mayonnaise, and pickles on toasted white bread served with house-made chips. So the sandwich itself is pretty standard. Fried bologna, pickles, mayo mustard. It's actually, it is, it is a mayo mustard. There's your cross section. It's not mayo and mustard, but they've, they've obviously mixed it together into one thing. I, I actually got some emergency mayo mustard just in case, some on the side, in case it was too dry. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. This is a much thicker cut than you're normally gonna see in your, your typical Oscar Mayer bologna. It's about twice as thick uh, as standard. I don't know what that means, but it, it, it's a thing. And I'm just selling, okay, I gotta eat. Well, the first bite was obviously a little dry because I got it off the end. I'm going to get some of those pickles in there on this one. You can see the drip. You can see it dripping. That bite was fantastic, by the way. That was really good. A very good balance of bologna, pickle, and sauce. Mayo mustard. But having said that, you're not going to get that on every bite. Because I got right in the middle where all the, where all the pickles were. So they haven't really broken any new ground <laughs> on the uh, bologna front. It does taste like fried bologna, which is fine, because that's what you're expecting when you get a fried bologna sandwich. But I'm not sitting here saying, oh my God, this is amazing. It's actually better than any bologna sandwich I can make. I'll say that at least. The addition of the pickles and the, and the mayo mustard really helps. Here's your fried bologna. Actually, if anything, I think I would have preferred that it may be a little more fried. At $10.49, it's certainly reasonably priced. I would say you could spend $15, $17 on a, on a cheeseburger or other sandwich throughout the park. Obviously, you're not getting something of a higher quality in those $15 to $17 sandwiches, but if you're just looking to fill up, I think this is a great choice. As usual, they come with the house-made chips. These are always good. Now, I am prone to uh, not having a big appetite. I tend to not finish a lot of my meals here at the park. I feel like the serving sizes are too big for a guy like me or it's a two-man job for me and my wife to split. But it's a fairly good sign that I haven't stopped eating the sandwich and I'm probably gonna finish it short of the crust. So all in all, I guess I'd say out of five, we're gonna give this about a three and a half. It does feel very, you know, uh, comforty. It's comfort food, it's, it's food from your childhood. Uh, I do prefer it toasted like they did, which is great. It has a lot of texture. I do prefer the pickles in there and the mayo mustard sauce is really good. It's filling, just not, you know, it's nothing amazing. Now we do have more, more than just the sandwich. We got the strawberry swirl cheesecake. New York style cheesecake swirled with strawberry jelly topped with white chocolate mousse and a fresh strawberry. No fresh strawberry to be found though. I do not see a fresh strawberry. I see little like sprinkles. Maybe that's what they mean. Maybe those sprinkles are like diced strawberry. Let's find out. It's hard to tell. All I tasted was the, uh, was the mousse on top. Wow. Mm. Now that is a win. <clears throat> I can agree to that. <laughs> oh my God. I love cheesecake. It, it, it probably doesn't help my review at all that I'm already predisposed to liking cheesecake or anything sweet. I've said that before. But that doesn't mean I can't appreciate it still. Because I've had, you know, okay cheesecake. This is not okay cheesecake. This is very good cheesecake. You can really taste the cream cheese 
You could taste the mousse and you could taste the strawberry. Oh my goodness. Wow. Very light. Sometimes when they get cream cheese wrong, it's very heavy. It's almost, almost chewy, but this is super creamy. And that strawberry really does feature. I'm gonna try this mousse. The star is absolutely the cheesecake. You can see the, uh, the glaze. See that glaze in there? It's very strong, but in a good way, not in a way that it dominates the rest of the cheesecake. You're absolutely aware that you're eating cheesecake. <laughs> with strawberries in it. So I'll go five out of five on the strawberry cheesecake. Very, very good. And as I mentioned, three out of five, or three and a half out of five on the fried bologna sandwich. Good, but not great. Definitely fills you up. And it's a cheaper alternative to some of the other things you can get here at the park, even at Jolly Holiday. Uh, but it's limited time, seasonal. So hopefully you have time to check that out after we publish this. There you go, guys. Good stuff. A successful lunch at the Jolly Holiday. So head to the Jolly Holiday Bakery on Main Street, Disneyland, if you're up for some comfort food that might take you back to your childhood, and maybe a taste of dessert while you're at it. Fresh baked.